Good morning students of class 9 welcome to our geography period in the previous session we studied about the work of ground water and landforms produced uh, in exogenetic processes part 2 in today's session we are going to study how stalactites and stalagmites are formed in a cave because of the erosion carried out by ground water usually uh, these two forms like the stalactites and stalagmites are seen in where the limestone rocks are found abundantly fine so let us see how they are formed so it is a very wonderful marvelous uh, site that one can uh, look at i'm talking about the stalactites and stalagmites so assuming or let us say this is the land what is there beneath the land there are rocks so what rocks i said it is found usually where the collection of uh, limestone is on a large scale so let's say that these are limestone rocks what are limestone rocks made up of they are the sedimentary rocks composed of skeletons of marine organisms its major mineral is calcite okay so these are the remain these are the sedimentary rocks limestones are the sedimentary rocks with the remains of marine organisms like the fish like the coral like the vegetation fine so if this is there if the remains of uh, uh, marine organisms or living organisms is found here then what will happen carbon dioxide gas will also be found on a large scale fine so now what is there here there is carbon dioxide gas here and what is the major uh, mineral found in limestone it is calcite so now let us see if it when it rains what will happen to the rain water it will it will uh, drip down in the earth now there are cracks okay in the rock in the rocks there are cracks so this water will get mixed with the uh, enter the rock through the cracks or the joints now what will happen to when it will enter now as i said because there are remains of marine organisms what will happen there will be a lot of carbon dioxide found there isn't it so when water gets mixed with carbon dioxide what will uh, uh, what what would uh, happen it will give rise to carbonic acid we learned how carbonic acid is uh, you know formed uh, in the previous lesson so how is this acid i'm talking about the carbonic acid it is weak acid it is called as a weak acid so when we, when this weak acid continues to flow okay because it has got mixed with carbon dioxide so what will happen a carbonic acid will uh, will be formed and this weak acid when it continues to flow then what will it, what will happen it will start eroding the calcite mineral okay so what will happen ha huh? if it starts eroding calcite it will give rise to some big holes here in the rocks and finally it will give rise to a cave a big cave will be formed okay a big cave will be formed means a hollow place will be formed there will be nothing inside isn't it this all place will become empty because all the minerals what is the major constituent of a cal uh, of a limestone what is the major mineral it is calcite and calc calcite is being washed away by ground water okay and what kind of ground water is that it is the carbonic acid it is weak acid fine so what has it formed it has formed a cave now what will happen uh, when this now this weak acid which is flowing okay when suppose if it gets exposed to air okay if it is flowing ha huh? it is flowing and some at some point of place it is getting exposed to air okay let's say there is a big place from where air can enter into the rocks okay so now when air enters down here what will happen to the carbon dioxide gas it will immediately get released like it happens with the soda bottle the moment we open the soda bottle what happens a fizz sound comes why because the carbon dioxide gas gas gets released immediately the same thing will happen here carbon dioxide gas will get released immediately the moment air enters now what is left behind the water which has calcite in it now calcite will start redepositing okay water is there water ground water is there over here okay i know this is looking really very messy but try to understand okay water is there 
okay what is there in the water calcite mineral is there so water will again try to sip down okay it will drip down again so it has got calcite now the density of this water will be more because of the calcite okay so it will come down with the gravity okay and water is fluid so it will try to come down okay this is the what to say the ceiling of the cave okay so it will come down but it is sticky because of the calcite it will the as the water is dripping down it will stick to this uh, droplet it will stick to this droplet or sometimes it will fall here drip water it will stick because of the calcite or sometimes it will fall here okay this will go on it will either stick or it will fall stick a little bit little bit will fall so what has uh, what is happening here a structure of this kind is being formed and this is called as stalactite and this which is building up from the ground okay because of this dripping down is called as stalagmite okay stalactite i'm sorry my pen is very light this is stalagmite you should understand sorry sorry this is stalactite stalactite i'm so sorry this is stalactite and this is stalagmite there is g in this because so you should understand that is rising from the ground so it is stalactite stalagmite and this is coming down from the top so it is stalactite so this is the difference that you should understand okay i hope you've understood how stalactites and stalagmites are formed okay if you have any doubts let me know see you in the next session till then goodbye thank you